Today we're gonna learn a simple, efficient and effective way to get rid of color casts using curves. And also we're gonna learn the science behind how it actually works. Because if we know the concepts, we can experiment ourselves and maybe come up with our own techniques. And knowing the concept is more important than knowing the process. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Photoshop and this is my beautiful little sister slash cousin. She smiles awesome and this picture is great. But have a look at the shadows. It has a green color cast, the ugly green color cast. And we need to get rid of that. See, it's here replicating again. So the first thing that we need to do, simple, create a curves adjustment layer. Click on this gray white circle icon and choose curves. Okay, now let's put this aside so that you can see what exactly is happening. Let's zoom in quite a bit. Now. We want to remove the greens, right? So let's choose green from the drop down menu. Okay. Now let's make it a little to the side. Okay. Now it's very simple. Let's just zoom in and pick this tool. This is a very special tool here in curves. So just click on that tool. Done. And then click on the area where you have the color cast. Just don't click, click and hold. Okay. Click and hold. You want to remove the green, right? So what would you do? You will drag it down. If you want to add green, you will drag it up. So click and drag it down until the color cast is gone. And it's gone. Have a look before and after. So this is the before with the green color cast. This is the after. Now the green is gone and magenta has taken its place. Why? Because magenta is the opposite of green. If you decrease green, magenta will increase to make up for the balance. Now, as you can see, green has also gone from these particular areas. We didn't want that. We wanted the background to be lush green. So we can mask it. Simple. Turn this on and then select the mask of the curves. You don't have to create a mask because adjustment layers come free with a mask. Okay. So select the mask and fill it up with black, completely black. Okay, how to fill it up with black? Make sure the foreground color is black and then press Alt Backspace. Option Delete if you're using a Mac. Another way to fill this up with black is that make sure the mask is selected and press Shift Backspace. Shift Delete if you're using a Mac and then the Fill dialog box will come up and you can choose black. And Opacity 100, Mode Normal and pretty much done. Now, what is the concept of masks? Black conceals white reveals. Anywhere there is black, the layer will be hidden. Any area where there is white, the layer will be shown. Let's make the thumbnail a little bigger so that you can see right click and large thumbnails. Have a look at this mask. This mask is completely black, which means the curves adjustment layer, the effect of it is applying nowhere. So you have to take a brush, make sure the foreground color is white. By the way, press X to toggle between the foreground and the background color. And if the foreground and the background color is something else other than black and white, press D to reset the swatches and then press X to toggle. So make sure that is white and flow and opacity 100 and just paint over the color casts. Gone. Here, there was the color cast. Gone. Okay. You can decrease the opacity and if you paint it a little extra, you know what to do. You need to conceal it. You need to hide it by painting black again. And by mistake, I think I have done both of them black. So when this happens, you have to press D to reset the swatches. Okay. Real time mistakes solved. Okay. So I think I've painted a little extra there. So I have to press X to make sure the foreground color is black again and then paint this area. There we go. Have a look at the before and after now. So this is the before with the green color cast. I don't know whether you can see it in this screen. Have a look before, after. If you think it's too much, you can also control the opacity. Now you can do this with any color. Let's come back to the properties. Just click on this. It will open up the properties of the curves. If you had a red color cast, you would do the same. You would go to reds. If you had a green color cast, just we did it. If you had a blue color cast, you know what to do, go to the blues. But what if you have some other color? What if you have magenta? What if you have cyan? Then what to do? What if you have yellow? Just remember the opposites. RGB is the opposite of C, M, Y. R is the opposite of C, G is the opposite of M, and B is the opposite of Y. Okay, RGB, C, M, Y. Red opposite of cyan, green opposite of magenta, blue opposite of 
yellow. So if you have, say, a yellow color cast, what would you do? You would increase blue. Why? Because blue is the opposite of yellow. Okay. For example, let's say you had a yellow color cast. Let's create a fake color cast here. So let's open up curves and let's create a fake color cast of yellow. Okay. So we have a color cast here. Okay. Fake yellow color cast. And we need to remove it. So what would we do? Create a curves adjustment layer. Okay. Choose curves. Then you want to decrease the yellow color cast. So here's what we do. We go to the blues. Why? Because blue is the opposite of yellow. And we go to the blues and we increase it. We don't want to take away the blues. We want to take away the yellows. So we would increase what? The opposite of it. So simple. Just take this, click here, drag it up and it's gone. Have a look before, after yellow is gone. Now you need to tweak it a little bit and you'll get, you get the idea how to do that. So whenever you have the opposites, increase it. When we have just the red, green or blue, decrease it. If you have stayed on till now, kudos to you because this is the most important part of the video. The thing that I talked about previously, it's important, but not as much as this one, because if you know the concept, you can do much more, so much more. Okay, so let's understand the concept of what exactly is happening when you use curves to remove the color casts, okay? So I have a gradient here, dark red, medium red, bright red. Let's create that again. Let's understand the concept again. Okay. I'm going to choose create a gradient fill. Okay. Choose gradient here and I'll just single click on the gradient and choose any one with three colors. Let's choose this one. And on the left hand side, just double click on this and choose dark red. Now, how do we know what is dark red? Simple. Go to the hues, just click on hues and choose reds. Now, what is exact red? Just go to the corner. This is exact bright red. So the value of R here is 255 RGB, the value of R 255, this is the brightest red. So this is the brightest, but we want the dark red to be on the left hand side. So here's what we do. We go to the B. What does B stand for? Brightness. Now here you will see the hue is zero. It's for the red color and the brightness is hundred percent, which means that it's completely bright. We want the dark red to be here. So we will take the brightness level all the way to zero which will make it black, of course, and click OK. Done. In the middle, we want red, medium red. OK, so hue is still zero. Brightness will be 50%. OK, and on the right, we want bright red. So let's select red again. We have to select red. I think this is bright red. Have a look at the B. It's 100, right? Click OK. So we have a gradation from dark red to bright red. Click OK. Now we want the angle to be say zero degree and click OK again. There we go. Now let's create a curves adjustment layer and let's see which controls what. So if we go ahead, create a curves adjustment layer, have a look. I want it to be at this side so that we can have a better look at what's happening. Now let's move on to the red channel. As you can see, it's pretty equal. Okay. This is the histogram. Now, just a short reminder from the previous tutorial on the X axis. What do we have? different brightness levels. On the Y axis or the vertical axis, what do we have? Number of pixels, right? So the number of pixels, brightness levels. Have a look. If we pick on this, click on this tool and hover over the middle, look where it's pointing, look where it's showing the circle. If it's in the middle, it's showing the circle in the middle right? If it's on the left hand side, it's showing the circle on the left hand side. If it's on the right, it's showing the circle target on the right. Okay. Now, if you want to brighten up the middle brightness level of red, click and drag it up. It's affecting just the middle, right? Dark. You can only make dark areas brighter. You cannot make them darker, right? So click and drag it up. It's only affecting this particular area, right? Okay, let's delete this. Now, for the bright, you can only make bright areas darker. Click and drag it down. You get the idea. So when we were removing color casts, what we were actually doing when we selected green and when we clicked and dragged it down, we told Photoshop, reduce the number of pixel of the greens of that particular brightness level. 
Make sense? No? Let me rephrase that. When we clicked on the dark shadows where we had the color cast under the neck and when we dragged it down, we were actually telling Photoshop that reduce the number of dark, and I say that again, reduce the number of dark green pixels. Okay? We didn't say reduce the number of bright green pixels because the shadows were dark. We said that reduce the number of dark green pixels. Similarly here. So suppose this is a color cast. You don't want to touch the bright areas. This is a color cast, this one right here. So we click and drag it down. This only means we are saying to Photoshop, reduce the number of a medium dark red pixels. Okay, so on the y-axis, what do we have? The number of pixel. If we click and drag it down, we decrease the number of pixel for this particular brightness level, right? And obviously, same goes with all the colors. Hope that made sense to you. Just a quick reminder. On the x-axis, brightness level. On the y-axis, number of pixels. Select the targeted tool, this one. Click and drag it up. Click and drag it down depending upon whether you want to reduce red, green or blue or some other color which is the opposite of red, green and blue. Thank you so much for watching. Don't just subscribe to this channel for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Make sure to click the ring button or ring the bell so that you don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.